Good morning and welcome. It's Monday the 18th of July. I am Flat Cap Callum. I'm hoping you're all very, very well. And yes, I'm here. I've got some bets on a Monday where we've had race meetings cancelled. Um, but I've got a cross, uh, cross meeting Lucky 15 and a cross meeting Win Trixie. So I've got two bets and it's £10 day. So um, yeah, I was quite surprised when I looked at it. I, I was fully expecting to think, oh, I might find the odd one or two horses and decide if I'm going to do a double or something. But uh, I was happy enough to find what I found. Um, so we've got a bet today. Um, so that is coming up. We'll do a review of yesterday before that. And after that, we'll have a quick rundown of stats from last week, kind of state of play where we are at. Um, but before I do, um, wherever you are, stay safe because it's it's a hot one. Um, it, it, it does vary massively. Uh, this morning... I was in a school run. It was 26 degrees before nine o'clock in the morning. That is that is a bit ridiculous in this country. Um, so uh, yeah, it, it took me back to uh, there was a time in my life I used to live in Greece and uh, and that was kind of normal, but uh, but not in not in England. But it does really vary. So uh, racing wise, uh, we got racing air and cart mail um, in uh, in mainland UK and uh, yeah, and the temperature is going to be warm, but it's going to it's not going to quite get above 30 degrees. And then this evening, the the meeting in Ballinrobe, um, it looks a bit dreary to be honest. Twenty twenty is the maximum. Um, so yeah, if you're <laughs> you're over in the west of Ireland, um, I'm sorry if that's where you're living and uh, you're hearing everyone else complain about hot weather because um, twenty degrees and a, and a bit dreary uh, is is all you've got today. So, anywho, the racing's on again. I don't know about tomorrow. I haven't looked yet in any detail. So if there's no video tomorrow, I will. I will change the subject heading of this video tonight to let you know if there is a video it will happen but I will try and put a comment in the review like I did last night to let people know. All right yesterday what did we do? It was a funny old day uh, in some regards so profitable um, and unlike Saturday where I was really frustrated about the betting configuration yesterday's betting configuration worked out massively in our favour. Um, so the first first bet, 240 red car, uh, Tarantino, that went and won 11 to 1. Um, and because of the channel bet, it was only a straightforward win single each way. Uh, that gave us profit. So I think it paid out 12.30 for 12 to 1. Some of you would have had less P11. Some of you might have snuck up to 14. So it was a small profit because then the actual lucky 15 that I put out the night before um, was, was basically a pile of junk. Um, so nothing really got close. Uh, a Vekas bar, I think, was a bit unlucky. It got hampered by a faller and then and then uh, kind of faded and then ultimately pulled up. So I don't know if it was injured or what, but then because a couple of other horses fell in the home straight, had it stayed running, it well could have snagged a place, but that was the closest. So it was 12.30 back for the £10 bet is what I've made it. Um, and then as far as the golf, um, we've got a couple of bits back, but I mean, I, I just massively disappointing. I, want, I wanted the Open to go well. Um, and a lot of the favourites went in and around the top of the leaderboard. So there was a couple of odd odd, odd players you could have picked out that were kind of decent odds. Um, but mainly you were looking at the top end of the market and that's just not where I was looking for value. So um, got back uh, 476 for the £20 open bet. So mainly that was Tommy Fleetwood placing. He came fourth. But also, uh, I think it was 96 pence back for Thriston Lawrence being the third best South African on the lucky 15. But... Yeah, overall, um, just yeah. I mean, it's not it's not a huge loss. It's fifteen pound, in, in in the context of what we do sometimes on a day on here. But uh, yeah, just a bit gutted because I wanted the Open to go well. It didn't. We'll move on. Um, there's some some interesting looking golf tournaments for this weekend, so we'll see how we go. But yeah, the the golf stats are definitely behind for the channel. Um, so um, we ended last week um, for horses on the channel down a couple of quid um but we did end up losing 15 on the golf so if all you've done is horses um down a couple of quid some of you may have just just about got a, a, above break even on the horses um and so it although the stats on the channel don't necessarily show it the last nine days there's definitely been been a, a shift so if 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 you were covering horses for the last nine days you should actually be um well ahead um, although we've, we're going through, we've gone through a really tricky period. Um, the last nine days overall are actually ahead quite a bit. Um, but last week will go down as a small loss. 
um, which is, I think, fourth loss week in a row. So that doesn't feel very good. But definitely, um, I think apart in the last week, apart from two days, um, been in and around it. Um, and Saturday, was, was we had a lot going going right, just not quite the right configuration to make the most of it. Anywho's today, what have I got? This is the first bet. So this is the each way lucky 15. And you'll see I've done a split stake on leg three. So leg one is the 130 Cartmel. Check my pulse at 10s. Three o'clock air. It's a really competitive race that. Um, Sky are five. Most bookies are four. Avoid Labrooks. So the, the key thing today is not Labrooks. Don't bet with Labrooks today. Um, they are definitely it would give you a disadvantage on place terms. Um, that first race, most bookies are four. Most bookies are four on the three o'clock. Sky are one better. So it does, it's, it's a tricky one because I think on balance, you would risk fifth place for that um, in order to get best price guaranteed and everything else. Um, so we'll get to that. And then the 4.10, um, there's only a few bookies are four on that and I'll come to it, I'll explain in a minute. But I'm split staking it. Um, I wanted to stick faith with Pockley. We took it last time at 80s and it finished down the field. But I think it, a lot of that was on the wrong side of the draw. So it, I think it's drawn well today. So I say that, Kotai class, I don't think it's drawn well. But Pockley, I think, is drawn well um, for for the type of force. It's, it, it should go from the front um, on the wing. So we'll see how we go. I wanted to keep faith, but I didn't want to put all my eggs in the basket. Um, that is a really, really competitive race, that 4-10. Um, I th honestly think anything could win in that race. Um, so I've split it with Summer Sands. So one one leg of the Lucky 15 is Summer Sands and one is Pockley. And then the 7.35 Ballin Road Rips Dream. So it's two cross Tempe each way Lucky 15s. So one has got Summer Sands and one has got Pockley. And then legs one, two and four are the same. We've then got an additional double on leg one and four. So check my pulse and Rips Dream. That's a 25p each way double on those two. And I've done an additional single on Pockley at 40s on there. That should take it to £7 you bet for bet one. So there's a bit of complication there. Any questions, shove it in the comments. Um, as far as bookmakers for that bet go, um, can't remember off the top of my head. It is. Um, so if you're not using Sky and you want to get best price guaranteed, one of the following five bookmakers. You want Bet365, Paddy Power, Betfair, Coral or Betfred. Those are the best five because those five are paying four places on that one. So legs one and four are four for everybody, except Labrooks, I think. Uh, that's four for everybody, except Sky of five. The 410 is the one um, the one to, to make, will make a difference. So for some, it will be three places. But for Sky, Bet365, Paddy, Betfair, Coral and Betfred, that's who you want to be. Any one of those would be your preferable bookmaker for that bet. Bet two is a win trick, see, so as long as you're getting best price guaranteed, it doesn't really matter which most bookies should be paying. So this is the win trick, see, we're having a crack today. 150 Air, Greatest Quest, 9 to 4, 205 Cartmel, Sativo, 3 to 1, finishing off 605 Ballon Robe, Red Azalea, Even Money. 75p, win trick, see. That is bet two. All right, hopefully that is clear. Um, as far as, uh, yeah, channel stats go, so... For the month, we, we're still well behind because we, we didn't actually make a profit this week. It was about, as I said, it was a couple of pound down break even. Um, so for horses, I think we're down still 45 quid. But I'm conscious last Saturday, week last Saturday, uh, most people actually got that back um, because the way uh, there was a non-runner that was counted for the channel bet, but everyone else got the replacement bet. So I think you should be about even on horses for July. But if you followed all the bets, because of Wimbledon and the last couple of weeks, the golf, it does mean we are behind. Um, so we've got a bit of work to do. So we're currently still sat uh, just on 10% um, profit overall for all horse bets since the channel started. It was a much higher percentage, but the last uh, couple of months have taken their toll. But we are still sat 10% profit for all horse bets since the channel started. Um it's seven percent for all bets, so that's kind of those figures are much more in line with where I expected we probably could be. Um, I mean, to be honest, anything in profit is a bonus because the whole point of this channel is, you know, I'm not here to try and get people rich. It's, it's trying to have a bit of fun. I'm trying to shove out a few pearls of wisdom that I've learned over many, many years. Um, yeah, my dad got me into racing before it was legal for me to be uh, betting. Um, so I learned a lot from my dad and then over the years I've picked up various things as, I, as I've gone 
Um, and ultimately, you know, you never start off as a profitable gambler. Most people don't. Um, and it took me a while. But but I can happily tell you that, you know, I'm, I make money from horses uh, mainly, um, but other sports too. Bit of tennis, bit of snooker, uh, bit of golf. Um, so I make money from doing it. Um, and what I'm trying to do here is is put out some of what I know, but do it in a kind of funsy kind of a way where uh, you can choose to play along, choose to follow along. It makes the day a bit interesting with a few different bets running on. Um, and uh, and yeah, so so I'm not here to try and maximise uh, profitability because a lot of that stuff, it tends to be quite time sensitive. Um, I'm here to put some bets out for the day, have a bit of fun and hopefully make a bit of profit. But I'm not making any guarantees about what money we're making. But I do know there's not many channels out there that will provide you A, with the profit and loss and B, can demonstrate that. Um, you know, and just just be wary of the channels that don't provide you with the data um, because the data is there to show to you long term if you if you did everything I do on the channel this is what you might come out with um, and yeah so so some of these sites where you end up paying lots of money for various things you shouldn't need to pay there are I'm not the only channel on YouTube that is free that can demonstrate they make money um, there there are a couple but there are also a lot that then will charge you extra money to uh, for their extra tips and if you want to pay for it, that's entirely up to you. The only advice I'd give you is can they demonstrate to you through a clear profit and loss with no funnies going on that they're actually making money? That's the thing to watch out for um, because I will never charge for a horse racing tip on this channel. Um, that's not what I'm about. I'm, I'm here uh, to set up to try and help a few people. It started off as a bit of a hobby and it's snowboarding into an actual channel now and lots of people watch. Um, albeit dwindling uh, in the last couple of months there's less people watching but uh, I'm very very happy with the core uh, viewership we have on the channel because as I've said a few times some very nice folk and I love all the comments and interaction and it's great when people start interacting with each other um, where people have got a, share, a shared passion and people put out their thoughts and selections and stuff all that stuff's excellent so that's me. I'll stop rambling. I've gone on a bit there. Sorry. Uh, so I don't know. I'll be back tomorrow. I don't know. I will I will let you know in the comments whether I think it's a viable day or not um, for tomorrow. Definitely a bet Wednesday. Uh, Thursday's a bit of a question mark because I've got stuff on on Thursday and I, might, I may well not do a video Thursday or if I do one it might be super late um, in the afternoon. I've got, I've, got, I've got to make a decision on that one. So Tuesday question mark video. Wednesday definitely and I'll have the golf Thursday question mark. All right, that is me. Enjoy your day. Keep cool unless you're over in Ballinrobe and then I don't need to give you any advice because you'll be fine. Thanks very much. Cheerio.